Ellen Yee here with Eyes on the Game, and I am joined by IBF lightweight champion and the former IBF super featherweight champion, Rancis Bartholomew. How are you feeling just a few weeks out? I'm nervous for this great fight against Mickey Bay on the 3rd of June in Miami. Eh, ya todos saben que Miami es el patio de todos los cubanos y nada, ahí vayan a apoyar a su gallo que su gallo está más que ready. Los espero el día 3. He says I feel great. He's like um, the Miami fans are going to be really excited to see this fight. It's practically like fighting in my backyard, which is something I'm really excited about. So I encourage all of you to come out and tune in or come out in person to support um, your fellow Cuban on June 3rd. Now, Rancis, we are here in Las Vegas, your new training ground, and you've been here for about two years officially since 2014, and you also won your IBF lightweight title here in Las Vegas. Um, how do you like living here now? Te ganaste tu título aquí en, en diciembre en Las Vegas. ¿Cómo te gusta entrenar aquí y vivir aquí? No, la verdad, la razón aquí tengo todas las condiciones, ¿no? Eh, se respira más lo que es el, el, el ambiente de buceo. Tengo las condiciones naturales, la altura y nada. Eh, me siento muy, creo que el, es el lugar correcto para, para desempeñar mi carrera. He's, he thinks it's the perfect place to develop himself as a fighter and in his professional career as well. It's the perfect place because of the conditions, the weather is great, the altitude is perfect. So as far as training goes, he really likes it. It's the ideal condition for him. And not only that, it's the boxing hub of the world. So training here really puts him in a position to develop himself as a professional fighter the way he'd like. Now, this is your first title defense um, against Mickey Bay, but it seems like you knew that you would eventually be fighting Mickey. Um, do you think he would be more of a threat than Dennis was? Yes, que ibas a pelear contra Mickey Bay. ¿Tú crees que va a ser una pelea más difícil que contra Dennis Shafikov? Bueno, no, todas las peleas son diferentes, ¿no? Porque los, los estilos hacen pelea. El estilo de Shafikov es muy diferente del de, de, estilo de Mickey Bay, ¿no? Y por eso no te puedo decir si es más difícil o es más suave. No, no te sé decir, ya veremos ya el día 3 arriba del ring. He said, I can't really tell you whether it will be more difficult or more of a challenge than Shafikov was because every fighter is different and you don't really know until you step into the ring with them. So at the moment, I wouldn't really be able to say whether it's going to be more difficult until I step into the ring with Mickey Bay. Um, Shafikov obviously was a very difficult opponent, but until I step in there and, and um, exchange with him, I won't be able to tell you. But by observing um, some of Mickey's footage and his fights in the past, um, what kind of holes do you see in his game right now? Después de, has visto un poquito de, pe de peleas de Mickey Bay? Y después de verlo pelear, ¿crees que hay algunas cosas que tú puedas usar como estrategia contra él? Claro, claro, sí, sí, sí. No, no te lo puedo decir públicamente, ¿no? Porque eso es factor de sorpresa, pero claro, he visto peleas de Mickey Bay, y, y, pero no, no te puedo decir nada malo. O sea, solo que es un buen buceador, fue campeón del mundo y nada. Él tiene dos brazos igual que yo, lo respeto y, y por eso es que yo me preparo conscientemente a conciencia fuerte para que el día de la pelea salir con los brazos en alto. He said, yes, I obviously have seen some footage of him. Whether or not I find some holes where, that I can use as a strategy against him, I can't really put that out there um, specifically because I would be giving my game plan away. But as far as seeing some holes that I can fill, definitely. And I definitely plan on doing that against him. Um, as of now, I have a game plan in place, and I think that I'll be able to come in to the ring, execute that game plan, and come out victorious at the end of the night. And if you are victorious and successfully defend your title, who would you want to fight next? Si sales victorioso y con la victoria esa misma noche, ¿a quién te gustaría pelear contra después de Mickey Bay? Bueno, mi equipo de trabajo ya me ha comentado eh, unos pasos grandes, ¿no? No quiero decirlo para, para que se hagan realidad. Y entonces, pero vienen grandes, grandes cosas para la carrera de Rancé Bartelemí. Y la verdad que quisiera decirlo, pero 
que vamos a esperar a que se den las cosas, ya ustedes se, se enterarán a través de los medios de qué es lo próximo que toca para Rancés Bartholomew. He said there's a lot of things in the works for Rances Bartholomew's future. I can't say them at the moment. I wish I can. Trust me, I'm really excited about them. They're huge plans that hopefully come to fruition. I almost don't want to jinx myself if I say it out loud either. But if um, I come out victorious on June 3rd, there's a lot of big things in the future that hopefully will come to play. And they're big fights and, and, and big moves after. And speaking of things coming into fruition, I have to kind of take the audience back to almost 10 years ago um, when you uh, just barely survived swimming um, from Cuba to uh, Florida. Did you ever see your life, you know, turn out like this and, and to be a two division world champion like you are now? How, how good does it feel now? Quiero recordarte del tiempo que eh, tuviste en, en Cuba atentando de llegar aquí a los Estados Unidos y después de tantos atentos eh, en el esfuerzo de, de lograr tus metas como profesional aquí en los Estados Unidos, ¿cómo te sientes después de, de ver que ahora tu carrera está formándose como tú lo, siempre lo quisiste? No, la verdad que te puedo decir que a veces me parece que estoy soñando, ¿no? Y a veces no creo lo que he, lo, lo, lo que he logrado. Me, me siento a pensar, cuando tengo un momento de paz dentro de mi casa, y digo, wow, ya he llegado hasta aquí, eh, por poco pierdo la vida en uno de esos, intentos, de esos tantos intentos, llegar aquí a Estados Unidos de, de cero, y hoy tener una familia estable, tener una carrera, ser dos jueces campeón del mundo, pero nada, después vuelvo en sí, y, pero... Siento un vacío, creo que falta, falta, me falta algo más que lograr en este deporte para poder decir, ya esto era lo que hasta aquí era donde quería llegar. He said, even though I feel absolutely blessed to be where I am today and to have accomplished what I have to be a two-time world champion here in the United States after so many attempts, um, he, I attempted 37 times to come here and after finally being able to reach my goals. For some reason, I still feel like there's a little bit of an emptiness that I need to, to fill. There's almost a void that I need to fill. I feel like there's more that I can give. There's more left out of me that I feel um, I can accomplish. And until I get that feeling of satisfaction, I'm going to continue to reach until I feel absolutely satisfied with what I've done in the sport. Obviously, having my family here, having my daughter, my wife, here to support me is a big blessing and um, having them here alongside of me um, after coming from Cuba is is a huge blessing for me but for some reason I still feel like I have a lot left to give in the sport and until I reach that I'll be satisfied. Is it a specific goal that's the void? I, I, ¿Es alguna meta? Tú hablas que hay un poquito de un vacío. ¿Cuál es eso? ¿Hay alguna meta? En Sí, la verdad que al principio que eh, al principio yo quería, eh, me conformaba con, mi meta era ser campeón del mundo, uh -huh. pero después fue que fui campeón del mundo no me sentí vacío, pensé que con esta segunda corona iba a, a llenar ese vacío que sentía, pero que después que gané esta segunda corona me siento que todavía me falta más. He said, I can't really put my finger on it. Um, I just know that when I became world champion for the first time, there was a little bit of a void. So I said, let me go after this second world title to see if I fill that void. And once I, I grabbed that second crown, I still felt a little bit of a void. So I, I don't think I know exactly what I'm reaching for, but I just know that I'm gonna keep going and give it my all until I feel completely satisfied. Well, your first step towards that satisfaction, of course, June 3rd in Hollywood, Florida, as you make your first title defense as the IBF uh, lightweight champion. For all the viewers and the audience tuning in, um, why should they watch your fight? I mean, we, we obviously know it's going to be a great one, but why should people tune in to see this fight? El primer paso hacia llenar ese vacío va a ser tu próxima pelea contra Mickey Bay en, en Florida y dice que ¿por qué crees que obviamente va a ser una cartelera muy especial, muy grande para el boxeo, pero ¿por qué crees que la gente debería de sintonizarse ese día para verla? 
No, como todo el mundo sabe, lo, tanto los cubanos como la fanaticada en general saben que Bartelemí es una caja de sorpresa y que siempre las, pe las peleas mías son entretenidas y nada, el agrado de la fanaticada, por eso es que le digo que no se lo pierdan, porque esta va a ser aún mejor todavía. He said, my Cuban fans, especially in Miami, should know that once Francis Bartholomew steps into the ring, he brings his all and he brings a good show to the ring and for them especially. So them knowing that, that's the primary reason why they should tune in because they should know that I have something up my sleeve and I always have a surprise when I walk into the ring. And that, that um, June 3rd fight is going to be no different. I plan on bringing a spectacular show for them and for that very reason they should definitely tune in perfect thank you so much for your time best of luck to you on june 3rd and thank you so much to the beautiful denise for translating and where can people follow you on social media and for you denise as well uh, follow me on instagram the real kid blast and facebook rance Batelemi fan page and twitter the real kid blast thank you and don't forget to follow me with the promotions. <laughs> Thank you guys so much.